Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another Dying Light video. So a lot of you guys would not know this but last night on 24th of March 2023, Techland gave us a teaser for the upcoming feature content of Dying Light 2. They basically talked about the gear transmog, combat and brutality upgrade and the next big story DLC 2. All this was shown at the Future Game Show 2023. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about everything that was shown during the event. So the first thing you should know is that the next big update for Dying Light 2 is actually releasing on April 20th, 2023. A Day before the release of Dead Island 2. And that, my friends, is not a coincidence. Anyways, let's start the video with the first look at the gear transmog system. Along with adding new game features and enhancements, players will no longer have to worry about choosing between style or stats with our new gear transmog system. Now we all know we do have a transmog system in the game but it's only limited to the outfits, meaning you can equip any gear set you want and then you can put on any outfit on top of it. But now after the April update the gear transmog system will enhance that experience. Let's say for example I love the tank armor set in the game and because of that I have all the gear pieces for that set equipped. So basically this is what I look like. But as you can see the headgear of the tank set only has 11 points for the armor and on the other hand the renegade boss mask has 15 points and better stats. So obviously I would equip Renegade Boss Mask because it's better but hey I prefer the look of the tank armor. So now after the gear transmog update I can equip the Renegade Boss Mask and I can still choose what appearance I want for the particular gear piece. Which means I can have a Renegade Boss Mask equipped and then I can change the appearance of that mask to the tank armor. And now I can wear my stronger armor and select any skin I want from any armor. Isn't that amazing? Now the next news was shared regarding the mod support for Dying Light 2. So here's what Tim Mons McDowell, the franchise director of Dying Light 2 had to say about that. Simply amazing and we look forward to seeing more of your creations in April as we'll reveal our future plans regarding the support of mods and mod maps in game. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm really happy to hear that Techland is stepping up to support the modding community of Dying Light 2. Because honestly, this section was kind of ignored in the first game. Yeah, you won't believe that people actually spend months to make a custom map, mods or even in-game fixes. So yeah, hearing them talk about this is just amazing. In fact, Demons McTala said that they will tell us more about this thing in April. Basically, they will be talking about the mod support and mod maps in the game. Which if you ask me sounds like they will be implementing either some custom maps in the game just like the first game or they could be implementing a system that allows users on all platforms including consoles to download any custom map they want. They basically talked about this in the past and they can do that. And also let's not forget currently there's no proper way to play the custom maps even on PC. So yeah I'm expecting an option to play custom maps. Also let's hope we get some good news about the mod support. Imagine you can download custom mods on Xbox and Playstation. That will actually be lit. Now the next news was regarding the combat and brutality upgrade. Not a lot of information was shared on this but this is what Timon Sultala had to say on the topic. I'm here today to share some exciting news with you. I'll tell you, but this has got to stay between us, got it? On April 20th, we are releasing our next major game update and it will include significant improvements to our combat system that will be even more brutal, physical and rewarding for our players. Yeah, I know, that was a very small teaser. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. I mean the story DLC 2. Because Teclan actually shared two new concept arts for the future DLC. Let's have a look at it. And finally, we are giving you a sneak peek of the next story-driven, downloadable content coming later this year. Trust me, it's going to be worth the wait. We can't wait for you to experience everything that's coming on April 20th. That was all the thing they shared yesterday during the future game show. But wait, let's check those images again and try to break it down. And then I'll tell you something more about the story DLC 2. Here is the first image which shows you the part of the city that actually appears to be flooded. You can look at the left side of the image and see that the truck is sunken and the ground floor of the buildings are not accessible because it's covered with mud and water. Plus I'm sure you guys have already noticed this but the buildings and structures you see here is kind of familiar to already existing structures in Dying Light 2. But hey honestly I don't mind that because for me the gameplay, the story and the zombie action is what matters more. Also even though the structures are same the whole theme of this map still looks better than Villador. Now moving on to our second image that shows us a mental asylum. 
Now, I love the idea of having a mental asylum in a zombie game. Like, why they did they not think about this before? Just imagine the kind of zombies one would see in a freaking mental asylum. I mean, the broken gate with dead zombies on the ground suggests whatever thing we wanted to get out or inside the asylum, well, surely succeeded in doing that. I feel like we can encounter some freaks of nature here in mental asylum. I say that because the leak suggests that the freak of nature are returning in the story DLC to the frontier. By the way, I can see some structures at the left side far in the distance and it kind of reminds me of those castles. Also, if you guys have not seen my previous video on this topic, then let me tell you something interesting about the DLC. So in the story DLC, you will actually have multiple different biomes. Like for example, the swamp biome that will have different sets of zombies. In fact, every biome has its own set of zombies. The story DLC 2 will actually be bringing some new zombie mutations and I think I recall seeing a volatile mutation that spawns only in one particular forest region. Then we have the most requested weapons returning in Dying Light 2. Guns. Yes, guns are coming back in Story DLC 2. It's basically going to be like the following DLC, but better version of that. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this DLC and also about the new update coming next month. Are you guys excited for it? Well, let me know in the comments and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human.